going to show you how I recycle clay. When you work with clay, you will inevitably have um, dry pieces that can't really be worked anymore. So I collect all the scrap like that for recycling. Um, also, if you have a piece that you've made that breaks or cracks when it dries, that clay can be recycled as long as it hasn't been bisque fired yet. So between my work and my hand building classes, um, we have collected quite a bit of scrap, so it is time for me to do recycling. Um, as you may be able to see, I've got um, several different colors of clay here. Um, they are all stonewares. Uh, they are all cone five, so they're fired at the same temperature, and they have similar shrinkage rates. So I've just put it all together. I'm going to mix them all up in the recycling process and see what comes out. Um, it should be um, just a unique tone and texture, and I think it'll be great to have our special studio clay. I'm gonna start by breaking this clay into small uniform pieces. It's gonna make a lot of dust, so I'm gonna work outside, and I'm gonna wear a mask as well. I let the clay sit in the bucket with the water for about a week, and now we are back inside to mix it up. pretty well blended, so I'm going to transfer it to a pillowcase now. Um, I'm out of buckets, so I'm just using a small trash can to help me hold the pillowcase up. Now that the clay is in the pillowcase, I'm going to tie it off and hang it. I've hung the clay so that it's off the bottom of the bucket and not going to sit in any water that comes out. At this point, I will just put this in the corner of my studio and check it every few days to see if it feels like it's starting to harden up and be ready to work with. It really just depends on the weather, the humidity and the heat on how quickly it's gonna dry. Okay, it's been about two weeks so let's open up this clay and take a look. Ooh, it's pretty moist still. Real moist on that end there. So I think this could have been left for a few more days in the pillowcase. Since I have it out now, I'm going to uh, try to just let it be exposed to the air more 
and see if just like half a day out will kind of finish it off. So I think if it's in less of a big chunk, it'll dry faster. Um, so you can make little arches that will leave the clay more exposed to the air. You'll see um, people that wheel throw will do this with their scrap to dry it a bit quicker. Yeah, this is real, real mushy. I usually would um, expect this to be a little more solid coming out of the bag. So we're at the tail end of summer in Oregon. I guess um, technically fall now. So the weather has been getting pretty wet. So this clay needs more time to dry. All right, we will check back in a few hours and see how this clay has progressed. Let's take a look at our clay. There's a lot of air bubbles in it right now that will need to get wedged out. And there's little tiny white chunks. It's like little pieces of white that aren't, aren't quite blending in maybe some darker spots too. So this is gonna need a lot more wedging and then I'll fire up some tests to see what it's looking like. 